Hello everybody. <clears throat> New shave today. Late night evening shave. I'm gonna try new two new razors today. Uh, the soap of today is uh, citrus scented ice pan, citrus fresh. It's uh, called Keither soap. A YouTuber called Cole Keither. Really nice scent in my opinion. It's uh, Uncle John's. Soap and uh, of course I'm gonna use Iceman's Citrus uh, scented uh, splash. <laughs> Uh, and today I'm going to use cleaned up a couple of new razors. Uh, These two first razors I'm going to show you I'm not going to use. This is the Silver Hellestan number four. Yes, number four. Hollow grind uh, razors, four eight. Uh, clean them up, polish them up, and hone them up. That says Bengal. I don't know why, <laughs> but. When I cleaned it, I saw there was uh, text on it. Probably have changed this uh, color sometimes, but this is one of the razors I won in an auction. I have uh, just restored this razor, cleaned it up, polished it up, and this is another razor. Silver Hellstone MK number two. Small razor, this one too. Um, polish it up. Hold it up and uh, yeah, gonna use these two razors tomorrow, see how they work. So I'm gonna put these two razors here and today I'm gonna use this silver headstone razor number two. It's got a little toner on it, uh, very small, 3.8 I think, <laughs> really small. Beautiful scholars, really beautiful scholars in my opinion, uh, but still a really beautiful razor. I hope it's sharp enough to use. Hollow grind, all these razors are hollow grinds. And the other razor I'm going to use today is this one, a little bigger, 5.8. It's uh, the Boxer series, it says Boxer here in, I don't know if you can see it there, Boxer, really nice. And this says the Boxer brand here on the shaft somewhere. Uh, somewhere there. <laughs> and there is a number on the back side, 46. I don't know anything about this razor, but looks beautiful in my opinion. A hollow grind razor 2, 58, rounded nose, uh, plus scholars, beautiful razor. To see if these two razors work today. So I'm going to use this one on my right side and the other one on my left side, so we shall see. So let's start with the shave. Uh, as you know, last video, I used, uh, I had two days ago, I think, one and a half. Uh, the last video I did, the quarter hollow razor. Uh, See the Hellstone number 24. Flat race, I'm going to put on the stones again. It worked, but it was not sharp enough, in my opinion. I hope I didn't cut myself there. It felt strange. And today I'm not using this Asia stone, I'm using my Ginette. I haven't used it in a while, so I thought I could use it. This race doesn't close exactly right, so you have to be careful when you close it. But I'm going to fix that tomorrow. The plastic scholars, you can heat up the scholars a little bit and twist it a little bit. Now I'll take this smaller razor.
all these faces I had on with my Waterstones 5000 grit from the beginning used taped on the spine you don't need so you don't you don't need <laughs> I usually use tape or when I use my 5000 in stone just because I don't want to get extra homework. So I start with tape and when the edge is sharp enough and it works, I kill the edge and uh, put up the edge again and then I uh, just gonna feel. Oh, nice scent. Uh, feeling on the face with the menthol. That feels great. Yeah, when I kill the edge and I hone up that edge, edge again, and it works the edge, and then I take away the tape from the spine and um, do some strokes uh, just to get the right angle right on the edge uh, without tape. And that's okay. It feels right. I put it on an 8000 grit stone. The 5000 grit stone is a water stone I have, and the 8000 grit stone is a Naniva speciality stone, I think it's a called. I think you have seen it before. And do several amounts of strokes. I don't know how many, but. When I think it's finished, <laughs> and after that, I take the razor to my G knot, Japanese natural stone, and I do 30 40 strokes. I build up a slurry first and do 30 40 strokes, and then I put some water on it, stone, so that slurry is more. Not so thick. I don't know the remember the word of it now, <laughs> but so it's not so thick. And do 30 or 40 more strokes. And after that, I add more water to the slurry. So the slurry is even thinner. Thinner was the word. <laughs> and uh, after that, I pour even more water on it oh. really small this pressure yeah put even more water on that uh, slurry so it's really really um, watery almost almost water and then i do boy throw something on it i don't really know and when that's finished i take another stone slurry stone remember i told you i thought i cut myself you see the blood <laughs> Yeah, I build a new slur with the other stone, with the second stone, I do the same thing, 30-40 strokes, I think dual oh, I, I will not try to <laughs> pronounce this word, um, add more water so the slur is even more thinner and do the same thing three times something and then um, after that I uh, Take these razors and um, strop them on the linen side first. I do 60 stro strokes on the linen side. 
I just add a little bit of water to the soap. And um, after these 60 strokes on the linen side, I do 100 strokes on the leather side. And when that's finished, I do the shade. As you can see, so far, feels great, really great. No issues with the blade at all. The only thing is, this is really small. <laughs> And uh, last week I did talk about <clears throat> these razors and uh, what I'm going to do with these razors. I talked about selling them. If someone is interested, I will sell them for in Swedish crowns, 250 Swedish crowns, and they are shave ready. I got a couple of races. I don't know how I'm gonna do this information. You have, I'm only gonna inform this in my YouTube channel here. Some of the razors that I got, I couldn't own up because the scholars broke. Couldn't use them. Of course, I have. Shouldn't talk and share at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I got some blades. But I need some scholars, so I think I'm gonna buy some new scholars, so for my guys, so that they have some black and white scholars. So I thought next time I do uh, buy a soap or whatever I want to buy for my girls, I'm gonna buy some new scholars so I can use them. I'm just gonna rinse, just a moment. Cold water and the ventilator so feels great. Yeah, I'm thinking about selling these razors. I don't know how many I'm gonna sell, but if you're interested, just contact me through Messenger or some other way. This is the uh, Iceman uh, splash. And if you shake it, it's you see it's clear through. Ah. Well, when you shake it, it's get uh, milky, and that's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sell these race, some of these races. So if you're interested to buy them, um, I'll tell you how the hold and ready to use. Uh, contact me on Facebook or some some way and I will send you some pictures of some razors and you have to choose which one you want and if you want to, to buy it costs 200, 250 Swedish crowns I don't know how much is in dollars but 250 Swedish crowns and you have to pay the sorry the shipping cost if you doesn't matter if you come from Sweden or if you come from America or England wherever you want I will send it but you have to pay the shipping so, 200 feet of Swedish crowns for this razor, uh, shave ready as it is right now, worked really great. 
of this razor. I got several more razors here, but uh, if you're interested, contact me. I can ask what kind of razors you want. Uh, if you want a smaller razor like this, or you want a little bigger razor, I got don't got so many five razors. Some of these I got, uh, but all were all of these. This is not a Swedish razor, but still is a vintage razor, and it works really great in my opinion. So if you want, contact me some way. Thank you, everybody. That was a great shave in my opinion. Feels really great. The Gina Edge worked really great. Have a wonderful uh, upcoming week and we shall see you next time, whatever it is. Bye bye.